My dear, sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying, Spells, Ursula, please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint. To those poor, unfortunate souls. Now, here's the deal. I will make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. Got that? Three days. Now listen, this is important. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss. The kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid and you belong to me. No, Ariel! <laughs> Have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs>